but today we'll be doing a, a blinking LED. I know if you've worked with an Arduino, it's something that you start with. It's very possible to do it with a PLC and it's very simple. So I'm going to say TMR T0 mm, and then TMR. Okay, uh, what I'm doing is like I'm just punching the instruction like you are using instruction list programming language if you know the instruction here you can just come and say tmr that's the timer here tmr and then you insert it so that's it's the same way and then we are on the same page t0 t1 and then when you want to put a normal open you drag it here but i'll do it this way This way and then this one I want it to be normally closed and then I'll give it a name T1 then I'll give this one a name T0 so what's happening and then this one I'll put 50 that's I want my delays to be 50 I want it to switch on for five seconds switch off for five seconds so um, why am I putting 50 the time base of this timer is 100 milliseconds times 50 the 50 that is in the 50 that is in here this one times this this 50 times 50 you get five seconds so that's how it works so explaining the program the moment this poc start running this one is on it will it will energize this t0 this t0 starts counting one two three four five when it gets to five it sets this bit on t0 when this bit T0 is on, it, it energizes this uh, T1. It counts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. When it gets to 5, it de-energizes. In, in it switches on the T1 bit. So when the T1 bit is on, it de-energizes this one, which is already closed. So when T1 reaches 5 seconds, it deactivates T1. It, it opens. When it opens, it resets T0. When T0 is reset, it de-energizes this T0 because it's a on-delay timer. When on, when you break the conduct at the back of an on-delay timer, it goes back to zero. It resets, it switches off. So when you deactivate T1, this one is off, and this one is off, and then this one will back to its original position to become normally closed like as it is, and then this starts counting again. So it goes on and on and on and on. So this timer here, T0. T0 is counting while is the LEDs of T0 counting LED of time and then uh, counting LED on time something like that uh, so suppose our LED is wired on Y zero. Let's say it's wired on Y zero. This is the physical address for the LED. And then I give this one address of um okay, so let's say of T zero. Right, like that, and then we download our program. Um on off so guys if this video is very helpful you to you just click the subscribe button so that other guys can see it or the moment they start searching for something similar to this um, that will be very helpful be very Grateful. So this is how you do it. Uh, it's a blinging LED using a, a PLC. So you can adjust the time, but right now we have to switch off the PLC. Let's say you say 30 there. Mm, especially a blinging day LED is one second. So I put 10, 10, like that.
now a general LED that we always use one second on, one second off, one second on, one second off. So now uh, the question is like, uh, you want you let's say you want to keep on changing and modifying this, so you just put a register here, let's say, say D0, and then you put D1, and then I download. then I download it so um, right so it's like it's pulsating here yeah, because on the time on the time we have zero there so I'll say I'll put let's say a, a 20 there you are now able to change while this is online let's say you're programming and uh, simulating something and then you put a, a 10 there that it goes see so you're now able to change your timing and stuff here. so but there's another way now for for doing this without using timers especially a one second delay we use PLC flags so I'm going to use PLC flags they are built-in predefined instruction 